welcome to our first ever episode of Speed Academy Cribs. Now that we settle into our new shop, we want to give you a quick tour of the place. Welcome to our new space. We're pretty pumped to be in here. Before we show you the main workshop, why don't we pop in here and show you the office, which we're not really using yet, but we're going to use. It's a, uh, a green room. <laughs> It's uh, 10 by 12 maybe, yeah, yeah. with a hand-me-down uh, filing cabinet, a microwave that half works, a, word, a wooden desk that Pete picked out of the garbage in downtown Toronto. It's a beauty. Computer monitor that he probably got out of the garbage too. And mm. I brought in my old MacBook Pro 13 inch from like 2005 that we'll use to just web well, browse. Well tell people basically. what we're uh, planning to do in here. Yeah, we do have a cool idea. We're going to turn this into a green screen wall, so we'll cover it in uh, green paper. And then when we do our tune-up videos, we can be in front of the green screen when we shoot it. And then what we're talking about, we can drop into the background, basically. I'm sure you guys know what green screening is, but it basically allows our video editor, Pete, to trim us out so that we're the only things in the edit. And then in the background, he could drop in whatever he wants. So if we're talking about doing burnouts, we'll drop in a photo or video footage of us in the background of us doing a burnout. So not that we do a lot of burnouts, but we've got to work on that. I think 2018 is going to be the year of burnouts, Peter. I hope so. All right, so that's it with the office. There's another little one upstairs we'll show you in a minute. But let's come out into the main workshop here. It is spacious. I think we oh, mentioned is when it we ever. moved in, it's 4,000 square feet. So we have a lot of room. And most importantly, we have heaters. Look at these giant industrial heaters up there, everyone. There's two of them. And we only seem to need to run one of them to keep this place at around... 14 degrees when we're working and then we shut it off at night and the place comes down to 10 degrees Which is fine. I mean, it's better than the minus 20. It was in the old chicken coop Sorry, Ken. We love you. Good luck with that <laughs> So over here we have what we've sort of defined as our fabrication area. I guess you could say Pete has been working Kijiji or Craigslist for you Americans or Gumtree for you Australians for used machinery, so oh. he just picked up this Bandsaw, our buddy Dimitri found this. He's like the ultimate sniper of heavy duty, hardcore machining stuff. This is three phase. Vintage. Vintage bandsaw. It's gonna let us do some really nice precision cuts on, hopefully not ourselves, but on metal. Moose is gonna do the wiring. Moose is uh, not just a, uh, a wrench on Celica. He's actually really good at wiring. So he's well, been he already wired those, uh, those outlets there for us. Yeah, he put in the outlet for the welder here. He put in some outlets on the other side for us. So. Thank you, Moose. I'm sure there'll be more of that to happen. Pete's Miller Welders. Yeah, look at make. this, ready to go. Yeah, and I like that we have this lighting that was here already. This was obviously kind of a workbench area from the previous tenant. So we can flip on these lights, which will be great for welding. Got our, welder, our, our Miller welding table. We got another one of these on the way. So we're gonna be, we'll, we'll be having welding competitions. Pete, oh, our table and See, I ordered the other one because I want it just to, to be a floater. So oh, it'll, okay. it'll float around the, the car. We can put stuff on it and yeah. whatnot. No, it's great for that. They're fantastic. And for They're the price casters. of the, well, that's a thing. Like yeah. you cannot build a table. We'll talk about tables we built over here in a second, but yeah. uh, you cannot build a table for the price that you buy this for. Like yeah. these are absolutely fantastic, super high Drawer, quality, like shelving underneath. thick metal. Yeah. And, they're, they're absolutely a great deal, yeah. so that's no, why I, I ordered another one. They also come with this attachment for a vice. Yeah, so. you can put a ton of stuff onto these yeah. things. So. Nice little torch holder there, too. Yeah. This is Ken's engine lift that Actually, we Actually, that one him. is ours. Oh, that's ours. Yeah, Ken's is up there. Ken's is over in the corner. Yeah, sorry, Ken. We'll, yeah. we'll get that back to you. Uh, this is another one of your Kijiji purchases recently. Oh, this was recently. a score, yeah. This is going to be the bandsaw to cut some piping with. Yeah, so it's sort of like the, you know, the guillotine style. Yeah, yeah. Uh, grinders, a little sander. We're going to get us a big heavy That's duty sander. That's the one sander. thing we haven't purchased yet. Yeah. yeah. Ken bought a nice one that you probably saw at our old shop. We're going to look for something like that that can really, you know, do the, the big heavy work. Kijiji again. Big drill press. No, actually, this was a combo deal. Oh, combo deal. That, that, a little grinder. bench grinder. Yeah. And all, uh, all for all like one. 400 bucks, nice which deal. is crazy. This is key for cleaning up your rusty nuts yeah, and bolts. Yeah, we've already been using it been on using the old uh, Connie Celica there. Yeah, that's handy. Pete even keeps his goggles here. The old press, 20 ton press from the old shop. That was Pete, so it came with us. All right, I think that ends our fabrication area tour. <laughs> I love how we have areas now. We this do. Is we so have amazing, areas. man. We have zones. We need I to am like so, color code them. so excited about this place. Like, uh, we could call it zones I and know, areas. I know. And it's like a hangar, it's an airport fantastic. hangar in here. 
The next zone, so everyone, good. is our storage area. We used to have one shelf like this at the old shop. There were two there, one was Ken's, one was Pete's basically. We bought two more from National Surplus in Hamilton. Dirt cheap, what were they yeah. like? Yeah, like I think bucks. like 160 bucks for the, the whole thing for each of them. So yeah, if you live in the Hamilton area, you need yeah, this look, kind of stuff. Look, look him up, tell yeah. him uh, Speed Academy sent you. His name is Sam. Sam, yeah, good guy. Because he just like, these things are absolutely fantastic for that price. You can't even buy normal yeah. racking for that, so. And they're super modular, easy to set up. They, they obviously are designed to hold a ton of weight, so. Yeah. We've uh, organized it pretty well so far. I mean, this is Connie Salika. Yeah, Dave. Stuff here. Like now, you've got boxes here. Is this? I, can I call you a you hoarder now? You yeah, can like is this? Uh, yeah, I got some Connie hoarding going. Yeah, here. this whole side. Like, look at all this. I know. Connie action. I know. I got my basement oh. back. Wow. Holy! This is all Connie's. Yeah. So there's lots of work to do here for Moose, and under here we have our transmission. <laughs> transmission this, alley. This is a tranny alley, as we yeah, like to call yeah. it. Well, like, there, there's a few other ones over there, but uh, there on are. the other side, but still. Maybe we'll call this the uh, Caitlyn Jenner area down here. Oh, ho, oh, 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 oh. ho, ho. I like that. All right, so we got, uh, what do we have? FRS transmissions, S2000 transmissions. That's out of a BMW, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got a couple of BMW transmissions. You got rear ends here. What are all these rear ends for, Peter? Uh, the, they are for my E28 okay. and uh, S14. All right. Just keeping some spares, you know? And we just have a whole empty shelf up there just uh, for more hoarding. Well, you know, you don't want to fill the place up right away. No, it's true. It's nice actually having the shelves being half empty because it feels like there's still lots of uh, hoarding. Potential. 100%. This is uh, Engine Alley over here. Yes. This is a future projects, uh, some past projects that might get revived. Oh man, you're, you're giving away too much here. I but know, well, we, we won't go too crazy. Random BMW bits and pieces, some S14 stuff up there. That's the racking up there is the stuff that is truly the hoarding stuff where we don't touch it for yeah. Long -term ages. Storage Long term storage yeah. For sure. And of course the S2000's wing that will be going This is all of the S2000 stuff. I've organized it here, right uh -huh. here, this. Except for that Porsche bumper that snuck up uh, on top yeah, there. Yeah. That's a, a future episode as well. Anyway. More motors, tires. Yeah. This stuff could go on the racking or maybe eventually we'll put up, you know, tire racking or something. But for now, it's fine on the floor yeah, and it's yeah. easy to access. Exactly. So in the back of the shop, the next zone is car storage, <laughs> I guess you could say. Yeah. And right now we only have five cars across the back here. There's got gonna be another row of cars here pretty soon. Yeah, the Mustang's gotta come, my wagon's gotta come. Yeah. And, and a couple uh, of drift couple cars, cars coming in. Cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this area that's empty right now is gonna fill up quickly. Yeah. We won't tell you what's under that cover. That's top secret. Future project. Future project. Spoiler alert. That is the S two thousand. Yep. That's the S fourteen. Which is coming soon. Revival. Yeah, that is our next biggie. That's gonna be good. 911 and of course the old FRS, which we're pretty stoked to have in the shop. We're going to be doing a little bit of content on it this winter, I hope. And uh, actually, we've got a video Not coming the for you soon. Springtime, or springtime, the... yeah, 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 yeah. But we did shoot something with it in the fall that we're going to try to make work. Although I don't think the we data, can. The data got corrupted. Mm, yeah. So you're yeah. going to have to wait to spring for more FRS content, but. Stoked to have that car back. It's super fun. Well, we should also clarify, we do not own that car yet. We do not own yet. that car. That is Toyota Canada's so car. So it is still, yeah. we're just storing it for them yeah. once again. And with uh, the plan of with doing some stuff with it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Of, of trying to do some things We'll keep working on, on that. So. We'll keep you in the loop on that. So the next area, I guess you could say zone would be kind of like the work areas. We kind of envision having two, two post hoists here. So one where Connie is now on the quick jack and another on the other side. So kind of like two bays here, if you want to call it that. That's kind of our vision for it. Um, actually, we do have one important thing to show you over here, my personal work area. Oh yeah. Why don't we uh, come have a quick I, look at I that? See, like, you can see my work area there is set up. We'll get to it in a second. Yeah, but uh, DP, you used to well, I got chirped pretty up. hard about uh, our move-in video. Someone said, where's Dave's work area? And then they posted a little toy set. So huh. you know what? Oh, wow. Let's get at it, everybody. Yeah. Get at it. Can I, uh, can I fit, these, fit these on here? There you go. <laughs> this is for you, Blair Hamilton. You dirty wow, bastard. Full call out, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty neat work set. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, my kids had no interest in playing with it, so um, I think it'll live here now in honor of being trolled so hard on Facebook. Do you hear that hum? So sadly, right now we have I think they're incandescent light bulbs, very powerful ones, so we've got good lighting, but it's a little noisy, and Ontario does offer 
an LED program. So we're trying to get these lights replaced through the government so we have less noise and better light at the same time. More efficient light, and too. more efficient light, yeah. Keep the yeah. bills down, buddy. So we are, we are working on that, yeah, because uh, as we found out, actually, this place is not cheap to heat, apparently. No. So uh, <laughs> we got to keep the heat down and the electricity bills down. Yeah. I will say the Quick Jack, once again, is such an amazing tool. And I know Dave was talking about getting uh, two post hoists, and I'm all for it. But at the same time, I still love the Quick Jack. Yeah, And I will continue to use the Quick Jack when I need to. It's, it's just super easy and convenient. And, you know, we were, we're, we were working on the car yesterday and getting underneath it now with the uh, epoxied floors yeah. has been just like a pleasure. You just slide in, you slide out. It's like rolling around on carpet at home, almost. <laughs> the luxury. So, well, let's get to uh, the, the, where the magic happens, as we'll call it here. There's no bed, but there are a lot of great tools. We, I've sorted pretty much every nut and bolt here. This was six hours in the making. I'll show you down there with the, the large uh, rack that I assorted all the bolts with. We've done some serious sticker tuning as well. And these are our cabinets. I, I know this. Yeah, I love no, this. Right? I think it's if sexy. only, right? Mm, someday, Peter. One day, yeah. yeah. These are the cabinets that we also scored off a of national surplus. I think they were like 120 bucks or yeah. something, like super cheap. So I've gone ahead and started sorting. This one is actually, I, I kind of don't like it because it's a little messy. Oh no. But uh, not tuned to your spec. It, it isn't tuned to my full spec. These ones, on the other hand, you've got your paint section, you've got your cleaning products for cars, and you've got like actual cleaners, some uh, polishing, and towels, car washing stuff. Man. Yeah. yeah so yeah. pro. And so may pro. I say, our stickers, these stickers have been in the making for like 10 years. Yes. I've been hoarding them, Dave's been hoarding them. Like, wait, check out this HKS high power mm -hmm. muffler. Like, the, I don't even know if you can get that anymore. So look at, I, I'm, we're pretty proud of this. There's some winners on here for sure. For sure, for sure. My other car is an E28. It's very accurate in your case. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, buddies from One Lap Hero with the ring banana. Finish the video, Costas, finish it. <laughs> and uh, this here, what I like to call a work of art. Oh, yes. Oh, oh look at the man. tuning on We're that. All this lined is, up and ready to go. We have a, a, a bunch of oil here. Wait a minute. We should only be showing Valvoline. Well, we, we do have our Valvoline product, but I, I will admit. We have some leftovers the, the, from the, the old days. <laughs> yeah, some leftovers, yes. just a little bit. Well, Peter, Peter's hoarding has paid off in yes, many ways. Yes, it has. And uh, this is yet another used score. Mm -hmm. This one off of Facebook, actually. The, the new marketplace section, I found this thing for like 1500 bucks and I jumped on it right away. Yeah, it's a nice it, workstation. Uh, it, it's a wicked workstation, plenty of room. We've already got uh, some sort sorting going on. Everything is labeled yes. nicely. I went ahead and made sure Dave knows where everything is. Our Milwaukee. Yes toolbox here. Oh, see, this is starting to bug me. I glued this on and it's coming off. Mm. I'll have to fix that, you know? <laughs> More tuning to do, buddy. And the old toolbox here, you know, standard stuff. They were organized this before, though, that's for sure. Sockets and all some of that little action. Yes, it's, it's nice and clean. Another toolbox because that toolbox doesn't house everything that I need, so we've got more sockets and extensions and, and all that jazz. And again, this was a labor of love. <laughs> Indeed. If you watched my Instagram story, you would have seen me go through the arduous task of sorting all of these nuts and bolts. So I think this is about 10 to 15 years of me collecting stuff, but it's already come in handy. The other day, the other day we needed like a... Uh, it was such a random bolt yeah, too. Yeah, like a banjo bolt. Yeah. For the Celica. This yeah. is the the one that we got rid of. Yeah. And we found one. I was like, well, Dave, I may have one. Bam! Right here. So I will take credit. I think it's a good idea. If you haven't done this at your shop, do it. It's very worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And now into our, uh, this is still like a, a work zone. So we're not sure. We may put casters on these very heavy duty metal tables. We, uh, we bought these, the, the tables themselves for about 150 bucks. Then went out and bought some raw metal up top off from Metal Supermarket. Yep. And uh, so we're in about $400, I think, on these tables each. Yeah. 
which isn't bad considering how heavy duty they are. They're uh, super sturdy. Yeah, you even oiled the tops. Yeah. Like made them all shiny and rust proof. Everything, and we've got this big TV. The hand-me-down TV, I know, yeah. right? It was here when we moved in. We don't, we're not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. Yeah. But We'll just put our videos on loop in here, Peter. Exactly. And we'll end off the shop tour on a very important place where uh, I think a lot of people do their business. Their best thinking. But we made sure to put up a caution sign here because uh, natural gas is a problem. Oh, especially with your vegan diet, Peter. Yeah, and, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's two of us here, you <laughs> That's know? true. There are problems for the both of us, I think, sometimes. Oh, we, so. we forgot to show them the attic. Ah, the attic. Well, it's just storage. I think that's it, DP. All right. What do you think? Call it a wrap. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. As always, subscribe, like the video if you liked it, post a comment, and thank you very much once again for all your support because this place is definitely uh, a reality because of a lot of you and through Patreon, watching, buying our merchandise, all that jazz. So, and lastly, we also have updated our eShop. So go check it out. It is kind of got a, a new twist on it. We are doing a very concierge style service where you just email us, ask us about what you need, and we'll get back to you right away with pricing. And any questions you have as well, send them that way. So we can help you build your cars to go fast. Don't forget, support the companies that support us.